Enough. I'm ready. Yeah, I think I'm gonna nail it. Now oh, I've done heaps of videos before. Yeah. Sorry. So um, just go whenever. We're ready. We're rolling. Get the audio. Never been nervous in your life. Hi, I'm Brad from Trade Tools. <sighs> a bit hot in here. Just, I'm good. Yeah, have you ever put up a jib? <coughs> I got the flu. Yeah, it's a codril. Hey guys, I'm Brad from Trade Tools. As you can see, I've got some screw guns. Have you ever put up a, a ceiling? If you've, should we should we have scripted this? So I'm here with my mate Jam. <coughs> it's the flute. <coughs> hey guys, I'm here with my mate Jambri. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you some information about these screw guns. If you're gonna buy one, maybe this video will help. <laughs> we can we cut that bit? By the time you fi finish, sorry. By the time you finish this video, you're gonna be an expert on screw guns like myself. <laughs> Is that good? Is, was that audio good? Is this thing on? Okay. So today we're going to run over some screw guns. We're not going to run them over with a car. Can I, can we, uh, screw guns? Just watch the video. I don't know, usually it's not so hot. I'm just flustering. All right guys, I'm going to give you a quick demo and show you how quick and easy it is to change it from the normal version to the collated version. So you just pop your chuck off, push this down, grab your bit out, get your longer extended bit, Pop it in there, grab the uh, collated attachment, stick it on there, two little tabs, push it on, and you're finished. That's it. Time for the DeWalt. Ooh, the unboxing instructions. Psh, yeah, right. Well, it looks like it's going 100 mile an hour just sitting there. <laughs> Fancy. Okay, I'll quickly show you how to put the attachment on the DeWalt. This turns and unlocks, pops off, and like an impact driver, you push it down, pull the bit out, get the new bit, click it in, grab your attachment, slip it on, and then two little buttons there on the sides, and you're on. Now, changing the bit on the Hitachi couldn't be easier. You just twist that, pop it off. This works exactly like an impact driver. Pop your new bit in, slide the uh, end back on, twist it on, rub it your father's brother. Now onto the Makita. So Makita also does an auto feed version, but for this video, we're gonna focus on this one. It's a little bit different to the other ones. The chuck just pops off like the Milwaukee, but it's got a spring clip in here that makes it difficult to get the bit out. But with the help of a trusty set of nips, no problem. All right, then you pop your other one in, like so. Click. And that just slips straight over, done. Happy days. Just for good measure, I thought I'd throw in the Makita auto feed version, how to change a bit on this. So you just loosen these two wing nuts on the side, pop the end off, and then same as the other ones, you push it down, slide your bit out. New bit in, slide your cover back on, clicks into place, do your little wing nuts up, and you're off. All right, guys, I'm just going to go over their dimensions really quick, and I love consistent numbers. So the DeWalt and Milwaukee are nearly identical. Uh, the Makita comes in 10 mil shorter than those two. Uh, the Hitachi auto feed is a little bit more compact than the both of them. And the Makita auto feed is nearly identical to the Hitachi auto feed. Don't you just love that? Next up, we're going to weigh them. So uh, obviously weight is a quite a big factor when you're working overhead all day. Hitachi comes in at 2.2 kilos exactly. This is all with 5 amp batteries on them. Milwaukee, 2.26. Makita comes in at 2.06. And DeWalt, 2.08. So Makita takes the cake by 20 grams, but they're all very close. More consistency, don't you love that? Excellent. Okay, let's discuss the RPM these bad boys crank out. So Makita comes in at a respectable 4,000 RPM. I'll just load them up while you're there. Click, click. There we go. Hitachi, a close second with um, 4,200 RPM. And then DeWalt comes in at a very healthy 4,400 RPM. Quite impressive, I must say. Milwaukee comes in at the uh, top of the class with a 4,500 RPM. 
quite impressive, I must say. An honourable mention to Makita and Milwaukee, they both offer an auto start feature, so it, you can use it like a normal tool, but you can put it on auto start, and the tool won't work until it senses pressure on the bit, which is very cool for uh, conserving battery. DeWalt also has a lock option, you can lock it on, but the tool has to stay on while you use it. Same with Hitachi, you can lock it on but it stays on while you're using it. Yeah, that's a bit of a positive for Makita and Milwaukee. Well guys, there we have it. Some information on their range of uh, cordless screw guns. Hopefully this video helps you make a purchase decision or just some general information. At least I know you'll know how to change a bit now. So, uh, till the next one guys, see ya. Yeah, I'm ready. Hi, I'm, my name, <clears throat> hi there. Hi, I'm, uh, hi, I'm Brad from Trade Tools. A bit hot in here, is it just me? Can we get the fan on? Have you ever put up a jib rock? Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave any questions in the comment section below.